Now, actually, I'm happy about something today. It was a pretty active day, but I actually have leggings again. Not the all black ones I miss, but I'm eventually going to get those again. I plan on getting them shits. But I got these black and gray striped shits. So I'm rocking that little Wayne Swagger. Other than that, there's a reason why I'm starting to cut back on the gay issue, the gay question. The question of homosexuality in terms of marriage, in terms of open acceptance, in terms of actually doing it. And things of this nature. And it's not because I'm afraid of offending someone or because my views have changed on the matter. But because I've already covered so much of the issue that I realize that it's mostly a sacred cow. A destructive sacred cow, yet a sacred cow nonetheless. Like democracy. Leftist liberals claim to love democracy when it favors their side. But it's merely a sacred cow that they love reporting as a good thing and progressive they receive it and I could go all day about hipsterific things that people love that I hate I could go on about John Lennon I could go on about what's another thing hipsterific people like there's just so many things. Um, Starbucks. I don't like Starbucks. I've insulted that plenty of times. Pretending to love jazz or blues genres. That shit gets on my nerves. This idea that Adele makes good music. Fuck people that think that. She's basically Taylor Swift, but. You can't point out the fact that her man probably left her because she's fat, otherwise that's bullying, and I feel bad that she had that episode last year because of the death of her mother, but such is life. Did she even have a baby? I don't know. I don't follow bullshit that is everywhere in Brahmin's places, uh, hmm. I guess I could talk about certain food chains, but again, it's sacred cows, and I don't care nothing for sacred cows. I'm only interested in stuff that is more than just pedestalized, stuff that is has a deep psychological rooting in the detriment of our culture and our nature nation or demographics, things of this kind of flow. And it's not gonna be the sacred cows. The sacred cows are just adjectives. White guilt is something that's a big issue. Let's see. Feminism could also be considered a big issue. Plenty of things involving our political structure, how obscure it's getting. That's another political issue. I wrote Written in Blood, so you know what I think about that. I think that we do have to overthrow something. But since there is no monarch, there is no tyrant, there is no dictator of any kind, just a bunch of low level shitheads. It's pretty hard to find out who you're going to overthrow. And because it's secularized, you're not going to burn churches down. What are you going to do? Burn every university down? Burn every newscast down? Burn every activist group down? It's way too much. It's way too inefficient. I guess the easiest thing to do is like to evacuate all the cities of crime, the major cities, 
of the cities that have large influxes of shitty people. That's something you could do, but other than that, it's getting really, really hard to filter out the mediocre. Not even the mediocre, the detrimental from the good and the mediocre. And I don't think tipping waiters is going to matter so much as that. So this is Mr. Wonka 7. I hope you guys are having a good night. And... I'm not going to hit you with that SMD. That's just it.